Hi there, my name is Liz and I'm Wattify's Customer Engagement Coordinator. Today I'll be walking you through our newest addition to Wattify Payments, which is the ability to pass on processing fees. This is a highly requested feature that is guaranteed to save you money on transaction costs, which allows you to keep more of your revenue and allocate it towards things like growing your business or offering additional value to your customers. Just a quick note, this is only available to customers who are integrated with Wattify Payments, so if you don't have access, I've dropped a link in the bio below for you to learn more. So what, does pass so what does passing on processing fees mean? Basically, this functionality allows you to transfer the costs associated with credit card or ACH payment processing from your business along to your members. Instead of absorbing these fees as part of your operating expenses, the fees are added to your client's transaction total. Essentially, it means that your members pay the processing fees in addition to the cost of their memberships or other purchases. Now that you have some context, let's walk through how this works together. Alrighty, so hopping into Wattify Core, you can see I'm in the Financial Settings tab and under the Invoice Configuration tab here. So if you scroll down, you can see the Credit Card and Bank Processing section, and this is where you can toggle the setting on. So the first thing here, Processing Fee Name. So this is what will appear to your clients when they're looking at their invoices and see an additional fee. So by default, it will say something like Processing Fee, but you can change this to maybe the name of your business fees or admin fees, whatever you think will be the most transparent to your clients so that they understand what they're paying for. Next, you can see I have a few locations in my business, but if you only have one location, you'll see that here. And this is the setting with the dropdown where you can choose to absorb or pass on fees. So obviously this is where we'll have pass on fees toggled on. Next, you'll see a payment threshold here. So if you want all invoices, no matter the amount, to have the fees passed on, then you can keep this at zero. But let's say I only want purchases above $10 to have a fee attached, so then I would just change it to 10. And then any purchases under 10, such as maybe a water bottle or a protein bar, won't have a fee associated and you would absorb that fee in that case. Next, you can see up in the top right, you'll have a total potential savings amount this is tailored specifically to your business, which is calculated based on an algorithm that takes into account your previous transaction volume. Now I'll show you a few other locations where passing on fees is now available. So one area where you can toggle this on is in individual invoices. So I'll show you what I mean. If you go to the financial invoices tab, we can click into the invoice. In this example invoice, you can see this section here will have the option to either absorb or pass on the fees, similar to what I just showed you in the other tab. So when passing on is enabled, then obviously the processing fee will be passed on to your client. Now, there are a few other areas in Wattify that have a similar dropdown where you can choose to pass on or absorb the fee. And this includes individual memberships, drop-ins on your symbol sign-in kiosk, and your point of sale retail section as well. It's all pretty similar functionality to what I've showed you, but if you want more information, you can find that in the help article I've put in the bio below. Now, I've shown you in the financial settings tab here your potential savings from this feature, but if you wanna see actual results, there are a few different places where you can see reporting on your actual fees. One of the locations includes the financial transactions tab, and you can filter this by different time frames and locations and payment methods. But for a quick overview, you can see summary absorbed fees and passed on fees and their totals via each invoice. You can see how much you saved on processing fees via financial transactions, like I'm showing you here, and also financial payout, reporting all transactions, and reporting payouts as well. I heavily recommend relying on that help article I linked if you want a more detailed breakdown of these different areas. And we've also included in there different email templates you can use to send out to your clients to kind of explain the change they might see on their invoices and explain processing fees a little bit further to provide them some clarification on their invoice breakdown. So I recommend you go take a look. Overall, by enabling passing on fees, you can ensure that you receive full payments while providing a transparent fee structure to your clients. I hope that you learned some helpful tips for this highly requested new feature, but if you have any further questions, you can email support at wattify.com, and I've also dropped a few resources for you in the bio below. Other than that, thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.